if the Kasis lived here for more than 30,000 years, where did they disappear? Where did the Kasi tribe vanish? Where did the Picts vanish? Where did the Silurus and Brigantes vanish? Well, after the second invasion of Julius Caesar, 54 BC, he was then assassinated in Rome. Emperor Augustus followed him and wanting to revenge or compensate for the defeat of his relative, Julius Caesar, Emperor Augustus ordered that the Kasi tribe and all its sister tribes be wiped out. Every man, woman and children to be killed. Every village to be razed to the ground. Every crop to be burnt. Nothing should be left standing. He prepared two invasions, Emperor Augustus. Three, sorry, three invasions, three Roman invasions in 34 BC, 27 BC, and 25 BC. Fortunately for these islands, all those invasions were aborted or cancelled because of various problems which he had. Each invasion which Emperor Augustus planned had 40,000 soldiers. Can you imagine 40,000 Roman soldiers of the mightiest army of the then world coming on these islands? The people here would have been wiped out especially the soldiers and the men who defended these islands. And so, I can reveal today what happened. The soldiers of the Kasi tribe and other sister tribes left by ship. This is confirmed by Welsh triads. In some Welsh triads, it is written about in number 14. In other Welsh triads, it is written about in number 35. The three silver armies with three ships left Britain, led by King Cassivellaunus, or as the Welsh called him, Kasi Walaun. The Kasis knew his title Walang. There is a Kasi title Walang. The Welsh called him Kasi Walaun, but the Romans mistakenly called him Kasi Velaunus. In these Welsh triads, they confirmed what the Kasis secretly always knew that the soldiers from here. Not only the Kasi soldiers, but the sister tribes like the Picts and the Silurus to escape genocide and complete annihilation fled these islands and returned to the only other home that they knew, the Kasi hills in present-day Meghalaya at the foothills of the Himalaya mountains. Some say on his death, Chief Kasi Velaunus or Kasi Walan, Walan was brought secretly and is today buried in York. The rest of the Kasi tribe who remained merged themselves into other tribes to escape genocide by the Roman soldiers. And 
just vanished the Kasi tribe. 97 years later, after the second invasion of Julius Caesar, in AD 43, the Romans invaded again under a different emperor and brought about 40,000 soldiers all the soldiers and friends, all the Kasi soldiers and friends, the Romans were surprised that they could land without any defense. They landed and entered into the interior of the towns and villages and found that there was no resistance. It was a tough decision to make. to flee and live. It was similar to the evacuation of Dunkirk in the Second World War. In other words, after living here for over 30,000 years, it was only in the last 2,000 years that the Kasi tribe vanished. However, DNA will certainly confirm that their descendants and their links, their DNA links, still remain all over Britain and Europe. In Germany, for example, the city of Kassel is named because the Kati tribe, who was also known as the Kasi tribe, lived in and around that area. Hence the city of Kassel in Germany, spelled K-A-S-S-E-L, Kassel. There is even a University of Kassel in Germany. Today that region is known as the Hesse region, H-E-S-S-E. In France, we have the beautiful town of Kasi, spelled C-A-S-S-I-S, -S -S, in Provence, near the city of Marseille. Marseille is the second largest city of France. It is believed to have been built by Phoenicians who were of Kasi origin. According to Lieutenant Colonel Lawrence Austin Waddell. It is marvelous to reveal the secrets of these ancient stones. These stones were used for sacred rites sacred rituals, the ancient Druids and the ancient Kasi would come here to meditate, to be silent, to be quiet and to pray to God, Oblay. Today, in present-day Kasi Hills, the Druids who are known there as the Lingdors, still perform the same ancient spiritual practices. If you visit the Lake District and also visit the Kasi Hills in Meghalaya, the similarities are striking. Like the Lake District, the Kasi Hills in Meghalaya is full of meadows, lakes, mountains. Add to that you have waterfalls, sacred forests, lots of trees. 
and an ancient mysterious people. Stone circles, megaliths, monoliths. And now with DNA, 57,000 years of proven history. We are now walking around this sacred stone circles, the castle rig stone circled, built by the ancient Kassis who arrived in Britain 30,000 to 40,000 years ago. Besides ancient rites and practices, the ancient Kasis also conducted their regular democratic parliaments. Sitting around these, in and around these ancient stones, it was here that they did they would debate. decisions.
they believe that the parliament of the people is the parliament of God. They call these gatherings Kadorbar Blay. Now let us have a look at the rolling hills and mountains surrounding the sacred castle rig, stone circles lying near Keswick in the Lake District, Great Britain. These stones inside the circle are where the chief priest of the Druids or the Lindor as the Khasis call them and the other priests would sit during their performances of their ancient rituals and sacred rites. However, there was the parliament, or the parliament of God. And when the people gathered here, these stones inside the circle would be where the chief, the chief of his cabinet, discount what we have researched. Remember when the famous French naturalist Henri Moreau, forgive my pronunciation, discovered Angkor Wat. He could not believe that it was the Khmer people who constructed Angkor Wat. He thought that it must have been some other civilization. And yet he wrote that not even in Greece or Rome have we produced, have we seen such magnificent buildings as those around us. 